So before we start, don't forget to hit like and notification below and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also in our FB page. So later on, we have a special guest. So keep your ears in our channel and listen to our story. Are you guys ready for Christmas? How about you, DJ Hannah? Did you already buy a Christmas gift for your loved ones? Of course, I am so excited for Christmas because I love chicken, spaghetti, lumpia, and salad. <laughs> Just kidding, you know, DJ Ange, I already buy a gift this last November. Oh, you're so sweet. You're really excited. <laughs> yes, I am afraid that I will run out of money and forget to save for Christmas presents. Oh, I feel you, DJ Hana. By the way, you know who is William Sidney Porter? I know him. He is O. Henry. And you know what? I love his story in Sizel, The Gift of Magi. Exactly. That's our story for today. What about you guys? Did you know this story? Well, if your answer is no, I got you. I can share this story with you. The Gift of the Magi is a short story written in 1905 by O. Henry, the pen name of William Sidney Porter. Set on Christmas Eve, the story is about a husband and wife who sacrificed their most prized possession. And in an ironic twist, realize the richness of their love for one another. The story has been widely adopted and remains a treasured Christmas tale. The story opens on Christmas Eve. Bella, a selfless and frugal woman, is distraught. For months, she's been saving up to buy a Christmas gift for her beloved husband. Jim. However, Jim's pitiful salary of $20 per week has only afforded her $1.87 for a present, far from the amount she would need for a gift worthy of Jim's love. For Lauren, Della begins to cry but suddenly catches a glimpse of herself in a mirror. She admires her long hair, which falls past her knees. Along with Jim's gold watch, which was passed down from his grandfather, Bella's beautiful hair is one of the couple's most treasured possessions. Della has an idea. Putting on her weather-beaten coat, she walks down on the street to a shop. Della asks the joyless shop owner, Mrs. Sofrenik, if she will buy Della's hair. After examining it, Mrs. Sofrenik offers Della $20 for her hair, and Della agrees. Hair shorn. Della browses the nearby shop in a kind of trance, desperate for the perfect present for Jim. After two hours of shopping, she decides on a gift, a platinum chain to replace the worn leather strap on Jim's watch. The chain costs $21, leaving Della only 87 cents. Returning to the apartment, Della prepares Christmas dinner and frantically curls her short hair, trying in vain to look less like a schoolboy. 
she hears Jean's footstep on the stairs and suddenly worries that he will no longer find her beautiful. When Jean finally sees Della, his face is inscrutable and Della cannot tell if he is surprised or angry. She cries out that she sold her hair to buy him a Christmas present in hopes that he is not cross with her. Suddenly, Jim put his arms around Della, placing her gifts on the table. She opens the gift and shrieks. It's a pair of jeweled tortoise shell combs that Della admired in the shop for months. A present that is now useless to her. After assuring Della that nothing could make her less beautiful in his eyes, Jim opens her present to him, the watch chain. Dumbfounded, Jim admits that he sold his watch to buy her the combs. Realizing the irony of their sacrifices, the couple decide to put away their Christmas gifts and have dinner. In a brief epilogue, the story's narrator compares Jim and Della to the biblical Magi, who brought gifts to the baby Jesus. Of all who give gifts, the narrator says of Della and Jim, these two were the most wise. they really sacrificed the things they treasure just to buy Christmas presents for each other. How about you, DJ Ange? When are you going to have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my priority right now, but if I will be having a boyfriend, I want someone who's the same as Jim because he's so understanding and loving person also I want someone who can sacrifice everything for me and can show his true love oh that sounds so nice oh by the way back to the start I want all people to know the lessons and further thoughts about the start just like what DJ Hannah has said earlier, we invited the two famous best friends on Twitter who got viral. And you know DJ Angga, they spent millions Woo! just to buy a Christmas present for each other but it becomes useless. So let's welcome our guests for today, Mr. Renz and Miss Magali. Hello, DJ Angelica and DJ Hana. Nice to meet you, DJ Hana and DJ Angelica. So, how are you guys? I'm doing great. It's almost Christmas. And I'm excited for it. Hold it in, right? Yes, you're right. And I'm really excited for tonight. Yes, would it be excited for Christmas? There's a lot of food and also you will be receiving gifts and of course money oh speaking of money miss madeli and mr renz you really spent million just to give christmas presents to each other um, which made you to go viral on twitter because the netizens said that money got wasted we are still shocked and we can still believe that our post went viral oh really yeah i heard that i didn't think that it got viral because we're very local best friend but we learned a lot this year because we spent so much money for our own good have you ever heard the story entitled the gift of the magi of course it's so popular and especially i read the book and it gave me advice about life and wise decisions i recommend this story whoever feels unloved 
Actually, the story is for everyone. So, Mr. Renz, what have you acquired from the story? In conclusion, The Gift of the Magi is a kind and inspiring story about two young people truly loving each other. Their love is revealed by the willingness to sacrifice the most valuable things they own to bring joy to each other. So, before you say goodbye, what lesson did you learn from it? Can you give some advice to the people who are listening right now? All I can say is not all people want material things. Sometimes, it's all about how you communicate each other and understanding individuals' feelings. And there's so many things we can do aside from giving gifts. We can spend and give time to each other or talk like there's no tomorrow. Something like that and so on. Yes, that's right. Also, we cannot measure our love for someone by giving luxury things because no matter how cheap your gifts are, as long as it's from your heart, then he or she will appreciate it. And you know guys, I really appreciate all the presents I received, especially when I was a kid. Candy and one peso coin is enough for me to be happy. Same DJ Ange, so guys, always be thankful for the blessings and presents you received no matter how big or small it was. So this is your Chica Han with DJ Hana and DJ Ange. Thank you for listening to our podcast. I hope you learned something from our podcast. <laughs> Bye! I love you all guys.